the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation of the Akim, pushing out the word in truth and sincerity, the whole four leg around the globe. I just show you this quick clip of Will Smith in a TikTok video, right? Well, it's being promoted on TikTok, but it was, uh, you know, some PR stunt of some sort that he did, but there's a lot of truth to it. Check it out, and we'll go into the scriptures. What did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Y'all, we out here on vacation in the Bahamas, another beautiful day. Check it out, check it out. Boom. I want to talk to y'all for a minute about the power of perception. You see, there's a lot that goes in to being a hot social media content provider. For instance, y'all think I got time to go on vacation? No. I got social to do. Come on, man, this is blue screen. In fact, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I haven't looked like this good in years. I've been totally computer generated since like the 90s. You know what? This ain't even real blue screen. It's 2019, y'all. Nothing's real. Barack at the Yahweh. Barack at the Yahweh. What did Will Smith really mean to tell us? Y'all, we out here on vacation. All right, so let's get into the scriptures. All right, the scriptures say, Luke 8 and 17, it says, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All right, so in these last days, absolutely everything is being revealed. All right, and yes, there's nothing but lies and deception. You see the, the trickery going on in Hollywood. All right. It's all sorcery and witchcraft. All right. To keep people un under a constant hypnosis. All right. And what's a, another scripture we could get? Esau being revealed. All right. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming all right the cure to all these lies and deception and trickery is truth okay so the lord is consuming these damn devils with the spirit of his mouth okay by ways of the prophets the apostles elders on down the pro or the elders of our elders okay and the brothers on down pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. That's why we say in truth and sincerity. Not faltering, not flickering, not bending, not twisting the word like these fake pimp pastors out there and these false prophets. Okay? The wicked is being revealed entirely. And how we saw in the last verse, all right? He's being consumed and nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. So we're going to know all things, all right? And then that sh wicked shall be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of his mouth is the prophets, the ones pushing out the word, the holy word. Same way he dealt with Moses, same way he dealt with Peter, with the apostle Paul, with Yahweh Shah himself, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's uh, those nuclear missiles, that thermonuclear destruction that's coming. Those chariots that, that are hovering around the earth right now while the world is, vi uh, while the Lord is getting ready to visit the world which he made. Yeah, he's going to destroy it with the brightness of his coming. But first, the wicked shall be revealed. First, the warning, the admonition goes forth. Okay. But the Lord will absolutely tell us all things. And the ones that it's going to be revealed to is the election. Like the scriptures say that Israel has not seeked that which he has not obtained that which he seeketh for. Obtain what? The truth. 
Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So the elect are going to wake up. Not the average common man, but the elect could see, could see what's going on, and could connect the dots. They got the spiritual discernment. They got the truth. They got the light. They got the oil, right, to be able to see the truth between all these damn lies, all right? And what's the proof on that? Look up the word unction, right? Comes up one time in the scriptures in 1 John 2 and 20, and it says, But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. What's unction mean? From the Greek word chrisma, meaning anything smeared on, unjoint, ointment, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs, all right? Figuratively, all right, because that's all symbolism. That is figuratively the special endowment of the Holy Spirit anointing unction. And that's the Holy Spirit anointing you, choosing you, all right? Giving you a special endowment. It's giving you the oil, the truth, the light, so you can see in this darkness. And you're, to, you're supposed to um, cherish that. And like the parable of the five virgins, the, uh, the ten virgins, five that were wise, five that were foolish. The five wise, all right, is because they trimmed their lamps. That meant they, they kept constantly in the work, seeking, staying in the bosom of the Most High, the, the name of the Lord, the, the culture, the laws, statutes, and commandments, all right? The, the one true religion that we're supposed to be bound to, which is this holy word, religion in its true sense of the word, which means bound to. We're bound to the the holy book because we as the Israelites that is what we're bonded with that is the covenant that we're supposed to keep the law statutes and commandments that is our religion but leave it to the damn world they have bound you to the customs and witchcraft and sorcery of the world all right the catholic church roman catholic church is not bound to the law statutes and commandments they're, they tell you that the law's done away when they you're not even supposed to keep it or it's okay if you don't Okay, same thing with the so-called Christian church, all right? Buddhist, uh, or Muslim, no one is honoring the structure laid forth by the Heavenly Father, okay? They're just off worshiping other gods, but those that are received a special endowment, all right? The truth, the unction, they are going to know all things. They'll be able to tell the truth from the lies. They'll be able to see this devil miles away they'll know the prophecies like the MOTB and the micro C hip that they're trying to put into us to make us part of the internet of things all right because this devil has a fetish for trying to be God all right so with that I pray brothers and the few sisters was edified to next time Shalom all honor love glory and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakudash Shalom